Hey guys, we're going to walk around the 2023 Freedom Express Ultralight 192 RBS. This camper is 22 feet 5 inches long, has an exterior width of 8 feet, has a dry weight 4,418 pounds, and a gross vehicle weight of 6,000 pounds. Uh, has a hitch weight of 490 pounds. Awesome little camper at 22 feet. Dual axles, so it still gives you that stability of two, having four tires underneath of there. Uh, single slide on here, Asdale inside and out. Let's take a walk around and see what all Coachman did with this Freedom Express Ultralight. Hey guys, we're going to walk through the Coachman Freedom Express Ultralight, the 192 RBS. This is an ultralight, or a, it's a really light camper uh, made for couples. Um, one of my favorite floor plans by Coachman. Let's take a walk around and see what all we have to offer. Of course, this is on a uh, has a nice chrome front cap on there. Uh, they're going to swap to black though because I guess they've been getting reports of it blinding people when it goes down the road. Uh, is awesome design though. Uh, has a nice big uh, fiberglass front cap. I'm saying uh, a lot. I need to cut that out. Um, but nice big front fiberglass cap though with this nice uh, automotive automotive windshield there, giving you that nice clean look. But let's check the rest of this camper out. Nice big pass-through storage here, keeping all your gear and everything nice in the front and uh, taking everything with you. Big awning on this camper, I believe it is 12 feet long, so that way you can keep your under under, under awning presence. Excuse me, I cannot talk today. Uh, awesome in this camper. And of course, if you haven't heard about it, check out our nationwide service network on our website, getting your service to all across the nation while you're on vacation. This camper is Asdale inside and outside, certified green um, and with foam insulation in between. Um, let's check out the inside of the camper. So here we are inside of the 192 RBS. Of course, you have a nice size queen bed here, uh, storage on either side and, and storage above, plenty of storage above. And of course, the bins on each side for your uh, hanging shirts. There's the inside of that nice uh, automotive windshield in the front and reading lights over top. So, and of course you can see they do blue and white reading lights that way nighttime or daytime reading. One of the big features of this camper of course is this queen bed. As you can see there's no real eating table. So you have this whole bed lifts all the way up to where it pretty much touches the ceiling. And as you can see there's a little bit of storage space underneath here. Um, these pistons, I believe they need a little bit of love, but if you leave this up, there it comes with the table so that way you can put it here and you can uh, actually sit here and of course you wouldn't have to hold it up and put the table in here and have a nice little eating area, but uh, make sure that this bed stays up in its upright position, kind of like on an airplane upright position and so that way you can eat and face your significant other. Moving right over here, of course you have yourself a little futon style bed, but of course a couch. Storage is directly above, right in this nice little slide. Uh, moving directly across. TV directly across from the couch there. Nice little radio built in, it controls the inside and outside speakers. Uh, nice little kitchen area with a microwave and oven. Of course all the nice little buttons light up there, and I like to keep all the buttons lit up. Cabinetry below with plenty of storage and of course I like to show off this how they Built their storage space there plenty of space for all your utensils and everything that wraps around that sink So it's not just a dead drawer uh, Again plenty of storage space underneath they ma really maximize the storage in this small camper uh, So that way you can utilize everything inside of here again storage over there were everywhere air conditioner on this one 15,000 BTUs uh, it is not, uh, that's the word I'm looking for, ducted throughout the camper because this camper is so small it doesn't need to be, but trust me with 15,000 BTUs it will freeze you out of this nice little camper. Moving back here, moving back here as soon as you walk in the camper you're going to notice a little bit of storage here for all your uh, coats or anything like that. Shoot little shoe storage down there as well. 12 volt refrigerator and on the back side of the camper there is access to the back side of this refrigerator. In case you need to get to it to fix anything uh, you can also do a 12 volt uh, this is the 12 volt refrigerator excuse me but you can also do the gas electric refrigerator so that way you can uh, alternate between the two and let's move over to the bathroom of course in this bathroom you have yourself a porcelain toilet 
nice vanity with a mirror directly above it so you can see how pretty you are while you brush your teeth. And of course you're, you have yourself a nice shower with a skylight above it for all you tall people. And keep you clean while you're camping. Thank you for joining me for the walkthrough of this Coachman Freedom Express Ultralight 192 RBS. Awesome little camper by them, one of my favorite, new favorites here at RV Wholesalers. Join us on this walkthrough as well as many others on our Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram. Uh, hope to see you on the next one.